three reasons why jada pinkett smith is triggering the collective right now number one her conduct is very narcissistic towards the public number two she is triggering the narcissistic abuse wound within the collective number three she is triangulating the public with her husband all right Hello soul tribe, hello soul family, welcome, welcome to this channel where we heal and integrate because consciousness is the new frontier. We are healing, removing distorted perceptions from our psyche. We are integrating, remembering the truth of who we are and who we are is the divine human spirit connected to God, connected to life, connected to each other, connected to all that is welcome welcome don't forget to like don't forget to share these videos with kindred spirits don't forget to subscribe it's free all right let's dive right into the video but before we do that i have four quick points that i want to just quickly share with you number one i want to remind you to please stay until the end because i have very very important tools that i'll be sharing with you as to how to counter the negative force that is trying to reinforce itself within the collective through this situation of jada pinkett smith number two I want to remind you that this is a spiritual phenomenon. Remember, everything is spiritual. There is nothing random in this world. Everything that we see in the hologram of our lives is a reflection of something that is happening in the spirit realm. Number three, we are going through a collective awakening right now. And as a result of that, we are no longer blind to the toxicity that had been normalized by our society for a very, very long time. We are now able to see things for what they are. And so it looks as if all of a sudden Jada Pinkett is now being hated by the world. But the reality is that Jada Pinkett Smith and many other people had been very toxic for a very long time. And for many, many previous generations as well, such kind of people were part of our society, but they were invisible to us because their very nature had been normalized. So now because of this collective awakening, it is becoming much more evident what it is that has been plaguing our society this whole entire time. Number four. I am not going to be discussing who Jada Pinkett Smith is and I'm also not going to be discussing what are these current unfolding events around her. All right. You are more than welcome to do a Google or YouTube or any other search to that effect. I am only going to be focusing on those three points that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Let's dive right into it. So why is Jada Pinkett Smith triggering the world right now i've already given you those three reasons so i'm going to be breaking them down let's look at the first one her conduct towards the public is very narcissistic she keeps saying and doing things and then coming back to say she didn't say and do those things or that the public misunderstood her basically gaslighting and blame shifting that's what narcissists do and you can't expect to get any positive reaction from the public when you do that. Also, she just keeps dropping all this information bombs on the public. Things that the public didn't ask her to tell us about. And then she acts surprised when the public is outraged as well. This is something that narcissists do. You know, there's that uh, baiting and that... Um, you know, baiting with regards to reactive abuse. So it's almost as if she's trying to get this reactive abuse narcissistic supply from the public. And you will note that narcissists, whenever it is that you are going about your life, you know, trying to generate as much peace for yourself as possible, what a narcissist will do is that they will just come in and they will just start telling you all these horrible things. They will just bring some negative information towards you that will leave you frustrated, that will leave you confused, 
that will leave you in a much lower vibrational frequency than you were in before they started having that conversation with you. This is what Jada Pinkett is doing. And so on the surface, it looks like it's just, you know, one celebrity, one of those celebrities doing their usual things. And perhaps it is. And I really believe that it is. But that's what it looks like on the surface. It's like a celebrity is just trying to share information and the public is misunderstanding her. Right. Or perhaps this is just one of those controversial uh, celebrities. And that's just how it is. You understand. But that's how it looks on the surface. And that's how the dark matrix want you to see it as from the surface. But in true reality, what you are dealing with here are rulers and principalities in the spirit realm who are trying to extract narcissistic supply, fuel, energy from the collective by getting them to react and of course in this particular instance like in many other instances where they use celebrities they are using this particular woman and of course these dark forces wouldn't be using her in this particular way if she herself was not dark in terms of her personality so this is what we are really dealing with here and this is so so important for us to be aware of Narcissists like to behave in a very confusing and antagonizing way, right? And then when you begin to question them about that behavior, you are not going to get an answer. You're not going to get any accountability. They are just going to give you the runaround, which is what Jada Pinkett is doing. And then when you become frustrated and you then start to react because you'll be aggravated eventually, then they will take that victim stance. Because what they are doing is they are baiting you into that uh, reactive abuse. And all of that is them trying to extract energy from you. All right. Number two, she's triggering the narcissistic abuse wound within the collective. Here's the thing. The collective has been subject to narcissistic abuse for many, 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 many previous generations. Everything that you see wrong with the world today is because of narcissism and the reason why the whole time we didn't see it for what it is is because we were not aware of this concept of narcissism and of course people will say things like oh how can you blame everything on narcissists you know adults get to behave independently adults get to do what they want to do but in reality that's not how it is because there are many adults today and perhaps you might be one of them who are convinced that they are behaving independently and autonomously and yet what they don't realize is that they might actually be under the influence of narcissists because narcissists are that dangerous and narcissists will hypnotize you they will insert programs into your mind into your psyche without your awareness all right they will literally influence and control your behavior without you being aware of it. So narcissists are very, very dangerous. They are very spiritual creatures, more so than many people are willing to admit. And so this thing has been happening for many, many, many generations before ours. In fact, of course, you know, the origin of narcissism has to do with the fallen angels and the demonic beings that have come onto the planet. So that's the origin of this whole thing of narcissism. As much as we can look at it from a mental perspective, however much we want to, and that's okay, it has its place. But there's this element as well, there's this aspect as, as well, and this is a very important aspect of the situation. This is a spiritual thing. And so for a very, very long time, many, many, many generations preceding ours, Humanity has been subject to narcissistic abuse because remember, this is an evil that has been hiding among us as us. You understand, you've got within family systems, one or two narcissists there that are busy abusing everyone else, but no one can do anything about it because many of them are covert and you can't even pinpoint what they are doing and you can't even get to, you know, have any help or support with regards to what the narcissist is doing because 
of course there's gaslighting there's triangulation there's you know deflection there's lying there's a whole lot of manipulation and you know influencing of people around you just generally influencing the environment to the, to the extent whereby the victims of such kind of abuse have little to no recourse so this is what narcissists have been doing all this time we've got narcissists within family systems we've got narcissists within leadership structures within society we've got narcissists everywhere in every part of the society and so they are you know of course sitting there and just posing as normal ordinary human beings when they are far from it and of course their agenda is always the same which is to steal kill and destroy they steal humanity's energy because it is a demonic agenda it is the devil's agenda these are fallen angels and if they are not fallen angels themselves they are basically demon possessed human beings but of course they are posing as normal ordinary human beings and we wonder why is it that they get to do the things that they do the level of atrocities that they get to commit and they get away with them all this time how is that possible because an ordinary human being usually gets caught you know most of the time whenever it is that they do the the kinds of things that narcissists do but how is it possible that narcissists get to do the things that they are doing and they are still getting away with them and in fact by the time a narcissist has harmed or abused someone the narcissist at the end of all of that comes off as the victim and their victim comes across as the villain and their victim instead of getting justice they in fact end up getting attacked by others so how is it possible that narcissists can get away with it that's because this is a spiritual thing there are spiritual beings behind every activity of narcissists and here we are talking about demonic beings of course so this wound of narcissistic abuse is a wound that has been plaguing humanity for a very long time and now what jada pinkett smith is doing to the public right now is the typical stuff that a narcissist does you know a narcissistic partner a narcissistic friend a narcissistic relative a narcissistic person that you know a narcissistic celebrity you know these are those things that these people will typically do to their victims so jada pinkett is being narcissistically abusive towards the public and as a result she is triggering that narcissistic abuse wound within the public of course the public is going to be outraged of course the public is going to feel very very triggered and very angry towards her because she is triggering them in that way and this is why it's so important for us to you know please stay until the end of the video so that we can discuss those tools as to how to counter this so the reason why you know this demonic forces are using her in this way to trigger this wound within the collective is so that they can funnel that energy of anger that energy of frustration that energy of helplessness within the collective they can funnel that energy into the dark agenda you understand so there is a very very important spiritual reason why all of this is happening is precisely so that the collective's energy can be used to continue to serve a dark agenda let's look at number three she is triangulating the public with her husband this is something that narcissists do as well let me explain this using your typical everyday narcissistic abuse type of examples you've got that parent that is sharing custody with the narcissist and the narcissist is abusing the children in such a way that the parent the good parent is not going to be able to pinpoint exactly what the narcissist is doing that is abusive towards the child and if they can pinpoint what the narcissist is doing towards the child it's almost always going to be something that the narcissist can explain away so the good parent now is witnessing the narcissist abusing their child covertly and 
the good parent feels helpless and powerless because there's nothing they can do. Another example is if you've got that loved one, maybe it's a friend or a relative that gets into a relationship with the narcissist and then the narcissist starts manipulating and controlling their mind and then that loved one of yours begins to behave in ways that are less than becoming they begin to humiliate themselves and you can see that this person is under some kind of a spell but there's no way of you proving that and you are left with no choice but to helplessly observe as this thing happens and even if you try to have any conversation with this loved one of yours with regards to the abuse that they might be going through this further pushes this friend of yours into the narcissist's arms because then your friend sees you as the villain instead of seeing the narcissist so you end up feeling very helpless and very powerless and I've seen this with the collective as well. I've seen people commenting on Will Smith's YouTube channel, pleading and begging, you know, with him to say, please leave this person. She's not good for you. Whatever it is that you think you might lose uh, by trying to let go of her, you can always get it back. You have our support. And of course, Will Smith is not hearing any of these things because he doesn't see things from those people's perspective. He sees things from his wife's perspective, you understand, because what a narcissist does is they take over your mind. When you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you are no longer your own person. You are the narcissist automaton. You are literally the narcissist little zombie, if we should put it that way. The narcissist takes over your mind. All right. In the beginning of a relationship with a narcissist, there's a spiritual initiatory process that takes place there. I'll be doing a video about it called 12 Steps to Narcissistic Abuse. And so there I'll be explaining exactly how that uh, operates. But what the narcissist does there is that um, they take over your mind. They literally possess your mind so that you lose completely. You lose your autonomy you lose your sovereignty, you lose your independence. So that whole thing of you are an adult, you are doing your own thing, that goes out the window when you are in a narcissistic relationship. Everything that you do basically has to do with appeasing that narcissist. You understand? You live for the narcissist. You live to fulfill the fantasies of the narcissist. You are no longer your own person. But that's not how you see it. You instead believe that you are your own person. You believe that you are independent and sovereign and you are responsible for your own decision making processes when the reality is far from it. This is what will basically be happening in that scenario where someone that you care about is in a relationship with a narcissist. But the narcissist themselves will be aware of exactly what it is that's going on. They'll be aware that you are suffering on behalf of your friend and they'll be extracting that energy from you as well. You understand? So they'll be deliberately, covertly abusing this person that you care about so much just so that as you observe all of that, the pain that you're experiencing that will serve as fuel to them. So they are extracting fuel from your friend that they are abusing and they are also extracting fuel from you as the person that is observing and, you know, of course, you are, um, you are hurt by whatever it is that you are witnessing, you understand. So that's that triangulation that we are seeing here in this particular dynamic and make no mistake about it, it's intentional especially from a spiritual perspective. Now, let's look at those uh, things that we can do to deal with this situation. All right. So remember, this is a spiritual thing. And so that first question that we have to ask ourselves about everything that shows up in our life is what reaction is this situation trying to trigger out of me? Usually there's a reaction, of course. And then, then we can see that the situation, this particular situation is designed to trigger that narcissistic abuse wound within us. Because here, you know, we are literally being narcissistically abused 
in a very covert and very malicious way. And so the next question to ask ourselves is how can we then counter this assault with regards to our psyche? The answer is this one. We take our right hand, we place it on the center of our chest. All right. And then we breathe deeply into the belly. We do that diaphragmic breathing. What that is, is that we are inviting the presence of God into the body. We are inviting the presence of God, the divine, the invisible forces of life into the situation. All right. So we breathe deeply into the belly. We hold that breath for a few seconds and then we release that breath very slowly. It's up to you whether you do it through the nose or through the mouth. It doesn't matter, but what matters is that you are breathing deeply and slowly. All right. And so what I want to let you know is that here in Africa, we call spirit moya and we also call the breath moya. And the reason for that is because we understand that it is the same thing. All right. So when we breathe, we are literally breathing in the breath of life. We are literally taking in the presence of God into our body. That is very important because what the presence of God does is that it neutralizes every negative energy, every negative entity within our bodies. In fact, the energy becomes negative when it is stagnant. So when um, a depressive, when an angry or a frustrating emotion surges within your body, and then you don't process it, you don't do anything about it, you just allow it to be in your body, and then perhaps you even react as a result of it. What is happening there is that that energy is then becoming negative energy. So instead of that energy being allowed to turn negative, what we do is we become present with it, and we allow that energy to be transmuted by the breath of life. All right. So that's basically what this process is all about. Very important because what it also does is that it um, cancels out our investment in negativity. Remember, we are a microcosmic reflection of the macrocosm. So everything that we do has a ripple effect in the collective. It's so important because if we can counter this negative forces, in this particular way or any other way that has to do with uh, raising the vibrational frequency, then we would have dismantled and disempowered the negative forces of life. So um, we are influencing the collective in this way by contributing positively towards it instead of contributing negatively towards it. So instead of raging and just getting lost in the frustration and the anger, what we do is we transmute that negative energy by taking the breath of life. So we take these deep breaths uh, several times until the negative energy is no longer there. Three last points in closing. Number one, remember this is an assault against the collective more so than it is against Jada or against Will Smith. Remember, these are just two people. But the collective here we are talking about millions and millions of people who are enraged at the moment as a result of this thing that is happening right now you understand where is that energy going as long as the negative energies the anger the frustration is not being processed it's literally being funneled into the dark forces of life okay so this is an assault against the collective number two this is an attempt by the dark forces of life to extract energy from humanity. Okay, this is what's really going on here. It's way more than just, you know, a celebrity misunderstanding and two people having a relationship that seems to be strange to all of us. No, this is an attempt by the dark forces of life to extract energy from humanity. And they're doing this by triggering the collective wound of narcissistic abuse. This is why it's so important to heal and integrate where narcissistic abuse is concerned because this is an invisible evil that is eating away at the heart of humanity. Number three, this is an attempt by the dark forces of life to keep humanity stuck in a negative vibrational frequency. You know, not only do they want to 
feed off of our life force energy but they want to keep us stuck in a low vibrational frequency because it's easier for them to continue to extract our energy in that way all right so when we are aware of what exactly it is that the dark forces are doing then we know exactly how to counter them thank you so much for spending time with me soul tribe soul family on this transmission remember consciousness is the new frontier until next time namaste